Hey guys, gonna do a little quick video here um, to kind of help you understand FOC a little bit better and how to actually measure what you're getting um, on your arrow setup. Um, so, first thing you need to do, and hopefully you can see see this here, okay? Um, there's my my arrow. Um, there's another arrow as well. That. Uh, First thing you need to do is to measure the center of your arrow. And how you do that is basically here. Let's see easier to look at this one. Um, you measure from right here, okay, back to right there, the knock groove. So you measure exactly from there to the back of uh, where your field point or your broadhead rests, okay? It's not carbon to carbon. Um, so take that measurement and you're gonna wanna make a little mark in the very center of that. So half the distance from either end, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> FOC or front of center um, is the amount of weight in front of the middle of the shaft, basically. So what we're gonna do is we're going to balance the arrow. And I I just made a little fulcrum out of two by four to do this, but I have a piece of PVC pipe here. This is you know easy. If you don't have something to cut, you just you can actually just lay it on, on top of the pipe like like that. Um, and see how it's balancing on top of the pipe. Um but I feel like with the pipe or something round, it's not quite as easy to uh, pinpoint the exact mark where this fulcrum actually gives you an exact line. Um, so you can see, I mean, you can see that right there. Um, I've already marked it. Okay, so once you've marked the center, your next thing you wanna do is is balance it and find where it balances. And as soon as you you get it where it's perfectly balanced, okay, you're gonna wanna make another mark. And on this shaft right here, that mark is, I already had that mark in place. And I just use, you know, a Sharpie. The silver works really good, shows up nice, silver white. Um, you make that mark. And then with that mark, what you're going to do is you're going to measure from the center, your first center mark, to that mark. Okay? And on this particular shaft, it happens to be four, four and a quarter inches. So what we're going to do with that is you're going to take the four and a quarter inches and divide that by the total length of your um, shaft. And that number that comes out is the percentage of FOC that you have. Uh, I just did a podcast with uh, Brent Hahn of uh, Valkyrie Archery, who's actually the guy that really clarified all this for me and, and helped me understand how to do it. Um, and he talks about uh, trying to achieve 20% or better. Uh, which most setups have not. So my current setup is about 14%. I used to, when I first kind of looked at this a couple of years back, um, the magic number then seemed to be about 16%. I used to shoot for 16%, but um, I'm not much of a tinkerer. So I, I, I haven't messed with my setup in a while. And uh, looking at it, and then the last couple bows, I've had to lengthen the arrow just a touch because of the way where the rest sat, and it, it it affected that FOC. And I just wanted to show you something. So as you can see, so these gold tip arrows, the uh, they come with these little collars on the back, little protective collar that goes on the back between your knock. This thing weighs five grains. Just five grains. It's like nothing. Like you can't even feel. This one you not barely 
you wouldn't even notice a dis, dis uh, excuse me, a difference with the five grains. You know, you probably wouldn't even have to touch your um, your sight at all. But if you can see here, the two different lines, one is an eighth of an inch back and one of it is an eighth of an inch forward. With me removing this five grains from the back, it basically gave me almost 1% more FOC. It moved my FOC an eighth of an inch forward. So what you have on the back end of your arrow highly affects, if you can imagine, it's a fulcrum. So, you know, any, it, think about teeter-totters, you know, if the long, if one had a long side, it's much easier, it requires less um, force to lift up the short side. So any little bit of weight here is going to affect the balance out here, so to speak. So um, just keep that in mind and when you're building your arrow setups and what you're doing. Um, but really the, the key is, is trying to achieve that 20%. I've, I've done some tinkering now uh, with it. I've been shooting for the last three months with some different setups. And in the last three months, I've, I noticed that arrow flight is much, much cleaner and nicer uh, when I'm closer to that uh, 20%. So um, think about that a little bit, play around with your setup, find that sweet spot. If you're having issues with accuracy, this might be your issue. Thanks for listening.